Maybe I come see Danica because she's one of the best girl racers out there. I cannot wait to watch Danica race today. Go Danica! Go Danica! You guys at work are going to love this. Good luck, Danica! Go, Go Danica! Danica! Good luck! We know you can do it! We're rooting for you all the way, Danica. Girl power! Go Danica! Go Danica, baby! Woo! Well, there's a segment of real hardcore NASCAR fans who think Danica Patrick's receiving too much attention for what little time she spent competing in stock cars. Make no mistake, there are incredible numbers of people who are very interested in these proceedings simply because of Danica. An example, New Hampshire Motor Speedway says advanced ticket sales for today's race were up over 30% compared to last year, something they attribute to Patrick's presence in the field today. Danica's fourth NASCAR Nationwide Series start will come from 25th position on the grid qualifying shown there earlier today as she returns to stock car racing after spending the past three months focusing on Indy cars. This race, this is the real test. Oh, we got crash up in the corner. Second race in the 2010 Eyes on IndyCar Series is green. All good for a good fight here after it goes green. Good job, kid. Great job. The Indianapolis 500 is now green. Her confidence looks so low that I think her nightmare continues. This team has been working tough to get her to the front. We are racing at Texas. Whoa. Yeah. Did she come up on him quickly or what? Pedaling as hard as she can, but it's not going to be too much avail. Just a great performance by Danica Patrick. Well, it's back to stock cars today for Danica Patrick, who joins us now from down by her team's transporter in the NASCAR Nationwide Series garage before she heads out for driver introductions. Danica, thank you so much for taking the time. I want to start with the number one question I've been getting from fans this week about your return to stock car racing this week, which is jumping back and forth from the Indy car to the stock car and the adjustment. How difficult is it and why? Oh, it was funny. I was just in the truck there, and um, one of the engineers said that he had to explain to the crew guys what understeer was. <laughs> so that's definitely an IndyCar term. Um, I should have been saying tight or push. So, um, you know, it's, it's the little things like that. But I, I really feel comfortable going back and forth so far. I mean, this will be a little bit more intense as it's the race weekends and everything and um, really having to perform. But they're very different cars. And, um, you know, back in the old days, drivers used to drive all kinds of different cars all the time so um, and you still see drivers doing that but um, you know I know the attention's on and and I, and I really want to do well so um, you know uh, it's okay I'm, I'm taking it. <laughs> hey Danica we've heard you in the practice sessions and during the race give great feedback uh, to your crew chief and the crew to make adjustments on these stock cars I just want to know the terminology that you use and you kind of led to it there a minute ago how different is it in describing your Indy car and the problems you're having with it versus these stock cars? Um, well, as far as the terminology goes, it, it's, it's actually okay. Tony Jr. does a really good job with it. Um, he knows what I'm talking about. And he even said at the very beginning of the year, he said, you know, you do what you have to do to make sure that you can you can run your Indy car, you describe it however you want to describe it. I'll, I'll adapt to it and, um, and, and we'll go from there. So he's been a real trooper about it and, uh, and he understands, so. You know, DJ, you heard her talking about back in the old days. That's back when you was racing. <laughs> uh, Danica, I, I want to ask you a question. Now, I heard you mention earlier in some stuff uh, about your goals that in previous races you hadn't really had a lot of goals. Yeah. Uh, what are your goals today? What are your expectations today? What do you need to take out of this to feel like you're making the, the positive steps? Well, you know, yeah, in the first few races that I did in a stock car, I didn't really have a, a goal, really. I don't think I knew what to expect. Some some of the things that I had done in practice and things and testing had been really good, and I thought, wow, I might surprise myself and everyone. But um, 
there's so much more that goes into the race weekend. So I, I, you know, I think this weekend, if we can bring the GoDaddy car home somewhere in the top 15 or 20, I think will be a success for us this weekend. And uh, I just have to, I just have to change my mind frame from from the IndyCar weekends where I'm looking for a win every weekend to, you know, something more realistic, something that something that's a building process for me and something that keeps my confidence up. Danica, thanks for the time. We wish you uh, much success and luck over 200 laps in New Hampshire today, and uh, we look forward to watching the race. Let's hope the rain keeps off. Yeah, we're all <laughs> hoping that, too. Thank you, Danica. Thanks. Danica Patrick, starting today in the uh, number 7 GoDaddy.com Chevrolet, 25th position. Uh, she's one of our in-race reporters today. If you'd like to send in a question for us to ask, go to ESPN.com's NASCAR page and click on Ask the Driver.